Hi everybody, welcome along to this video series on D16 Nephaton. My name is Larry Holcomb and I'm here with Groove 3. So as you probably know, the Nephaton is an emulation of the classic Roland drum machine, the TR-808. This was first produced in 1980 and actually discontinued in 1983. And when it was first released, it was actually a commercial failure. Most people at the time wanted realistic drum machines and Roland used synthesis to create the drum machines to try and make it cheaper than the alternative drum machines that were out there. And for that reason, people didn't really get on with it because it sounded a little bit too synthetic. But obviously, as time went on, the 808 became very popular in hip-hop and electronic music for that very reason, for the synthetic drum sounds, especially the really deep, boomy kick drum that we all know and love so well now. So I'm going to be taking you through this video series on how we can use this drum machine, both as a basic drum machine you can trigger in your DAW using a MIDI keyboard, and also by using the internal patterns. So in this first video, we're going to go through the interface of Nephaton, and also how we can route each one of these individual drum sounds to its own output, which makes it much easier for mixing. So there are two main areas of the interface. So the first section we have is our synthesis module here. Now for each one of our 17 drum sounds, we have various parameters that allow us to change the sound and tweak it and get exactly what we're looking for. And they're arranged in these columns for each sound. The name of the sound is written at the top here. Now in the bottom section, we have our internal sequencer. And this allows us to edit our patterns if we're working in the internal sequencer mode that we're going to talk about later on. Okay, so as I said, we're going to have a look at routing sounds to the right now. But so what I've got here is a MIDI note just playing back a basic pattern. Now in the mixer at the moment, Nephaton is coming out of a single channel of logic. Now this is going to change depending on which DAW you're using. So you might need to look into how to set up a multi-output device in your own DAW. So in logic what we do is click on Nephaton and choose multi-output. And we have this little plus button here. If we click on this plus button, it's going to give us various different auxiliary tracks. And you can see here, it's telling us where they're coming from. So this is Nephaton 3 and 4, 5 and 6, 7 and 8. So these are stereo auxiliary tracks. So up on here, we have the outputs from Nephaton. So these are where these sounds are getting rooted to. At the moment, they're getting all rooted to output 1. That's going to go onto our main channel. So let's say we change our kick drum to the second one, our snare drum to the third, conga to the fourth, mid conga to the fifth, high conga to the sixth. I'll just do those for the time being. You see that we now have those sounds getting rooted to their own outputs. So if I want to, I can add in my own EQ on that channel without it affecting all of the other sounds. Now for each one of our sounds as well, we have these little mute and solo buttons on here. So you can choose to take a sound out or solo it if you want to. Okay, so that's the way we can use Nephaton in multi-output mode to have our sounds routed to different channels in our DAW. In the next video, we're going to go through our work modes up here, which is how we can play back the patterns of Nephaton using a MIDI keyboard, or we can just use Nephaton as a basic drum machine using drum pads or a MIDI keyboard. Thanks for watching. 